The new sidebar in Safari featured in OS X Mavericks is really cool because it allows you to view all your bookmarks, your reading lists, your shared links right from the convenience of the sidebar. You can actually add items to your reading list with one click. Let me show you here. You go to view and then show sidebar and then that will open up the sidebar and actually you can have both of these open, both the sidebar and the main page open at the same time so that you can actually click on a link found in your sidebar and load that up in the main page without closing the sidebar, which is really, really cool. And I, I really like that. The thing about this is that you can skip around between your reading list, your uh, shared links and all that, and st still keep your sidebar open uh, while you peruse the various sites linked in your sidebar, which is really nice. Um, so what if you want to close the sidebar out quickly without going to your menu? Well, there's actually a keyboard shortcut that you can use and the keyboard shortcut is actually shift command L and that opens and closes the sidebar, um, right there without having to go to the menu. You can do it using your keyboard, uh, command shift L shift command L and that'll open up your sidebar. Now, another cool feature that you'll find in the new Safari for Mavericks is the ability to quickly add items to your reading list with one click. All you do is hit the little plus sign in the upper left hand corner by the address and that adds it directly to your reading list just like that. Now, what if you want to add something to your bookmarks instead of the reading list? Well, all you need to do is click and hold that plus sign and then that'll give you more options. So notice this click and hold the plus sign. You see favorites bar or bookmarks, just select bookmarks and that'll add it directly to your bookmarks instead of adding it to your reading list. So that is how you take advantage of some of the new features in Safari for Mavericks. Hope this was able to clear up some things for you. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. This is Jeff with iDownloadBlog.